Hello everybody. The cucumbers have been collected on June 21st and I know I said approximately two to three weeks curing but seeing this it reminds me to keep an eye on the squash and cucumbers and I've decided with that spot showing up and the good color change I'm going to go ahead and prepare this for seed collection and I take the knife approximately uh, a quarter of a way into the cucumber. I take out a little wedge that will allow me to break the cucumber open and not damage any of the seed inside. With a, a big nice serving spoon, get it into a bowl and gently scrape out the inside. Just like that comes out relatively easily. Now I have a pile of seeds and goop. If it has large plant material that the seeds easily are freed from, I remove this. And they will. It'll come out pretty easy. Then I have a jar already prepared. Because I'm going to be doing such a large amount of cucumbers, I have gone for approximately an eighth to a quarter cup of water and then with a nice wide canning funnel I put those into the jar for fermentation. It'll go same thing with everything on a labeled paper plate the date that I started the fermentation process and then they'll rinse clean. Michael's helping me. He's gonna just hand me the camera and I'm gonna also show you a good selection of the tomatoes that are coming out of the garden. And I'm not going to butcher the Italian pronunciation of the sun-dried tomatoes. And these are the wonderful little pear-shaped yellow tomatoes. Livingston Gold Ball. No matter what kind of uh, heat, watering conditions, we have really good luck with this tomato. Not splitting on us. Um, I haven't seen any blossom end rot and they're just very very nice size and good eating. I'm gonna see if I could get the difference to show up on the on the camera of the coloration of the Marion variety and this is the sub arctic plenty and back here is a just perfect earliana. I like this Marion for the flavor just so far just un unbeatable. Jars are prepared for the next round of seed collecting and here is what I have left with uh, after rinsing the next this round of Wonderberry little bit of plant material. These seeds are very very clingy either in the strainer or on the paper plate as you can see it's already been well used uh, that's when I go ahead and try to get the rest of the plant material out. And these dry rather quickly too. Sorry about the camera work as I'm trying to pay attention to my fingers and get these seeds, <laughs> seeds off of me. It also brings me to uh, saying that, that the cucumbers are a little early for the time frame that I told you, so keep an eye on what you have going on. And this is uh, early on a and it was date. It's dated 6:30, and here we have the um, the white frothiness and mold starting to show up. But on this homestead, also dated, it's 6:30. That's not happening. Sun dried, not happening. Slightly on this Marion back here. So if you're not seeing that type of action, even though I said three to four days normally does it for me. Uh, go by, you know, the, what you're uh, seeing and feeling in your own home. We don't run the air conditioning non-stop, so our environment tends to be a little bit warmer. If you keep a cool house, this might take a little bit longer for the fermentation. You might be going four to five days. Okay, I'll come back with more on helpful tips. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Holiday weekend. Arrivederci.